it appears that the uh, spinosad and oil I applied on my new avocado trees uh, was quite effective as we've come into spring so far with no lace bugs on the avocado. Uh, must have hit them just right. This one here is uh, Yamagata. Uh, this one is Ka'alu and it is uh, also clean and green. It looks great. Um, Spinosad bacteria was what I used. Well, and all the way across the field there you can see an old avocado that I had used uh, imidacloprid on it, systemic. You know, the stuff is a lot like chemotherapy. It did knock out the bugs. They aren't there anymore. But man, it kicked the tree hard, too. Uh, I don't think the foliage really enjoyed that. Uh, the tree doesn't look very good at the moment, but it is regrowing a new crop of leaves. Now, this tree right here got a midacloprid, but I don't think quite enough uh, because the tree still has the lace bug. You can see the damaged foliage in this plant. Got to do something, otherwise it probably starts spreading back to everything else around here. Well, that's a brief one, folks, but there you have a look at uh, a bit of what had happened with the avocado trees. Um, so, recapping that, uh, last year on all the small trees, trees that were short enough for me to get with a regular hand tank sprayer, I used a combination of spinosad and horticultural oil on the lace bugs, and it was effective. It definitely was effective and so those are good materials spinosad is labeled for use on avocado lace bug um, on the EPA's uh, charts as far as the state of Hawaii I, I don't know if they've gotten around to listing it yet or not but it would be one of the best organic controls we have for this problem and I used oil with it too because oil smothers and oil is also low toxicity um, now, uh, as far as the imidacloprid, which is what I used on the uh, tall trees that I could not get to the top of with a sprayer. Now, imidacloprid is a uh, neonicotinoid. That means it's a synthetic nicotine molecule. Uh, it's been tricked out in the lab, so it does two things that ordinary nicotine never did. One, it's systemic and it will carry up the trunks of the plants that's unique uh, the other is that it's a time release long lasting material that supposedly will hold for up to 12 months all right well that's good and bad right now my results with it on my older larger trees my opinion is that stuff's like chemo the plants don't necessarily like it they look a lot rougher this spring uh, than the ones where I used organic controls. Uh, but they're still here. Uh, most of the trees that got the right dosage don't appear to have any insects in them. The foliage just looks distressed. Uh, you know. Now an avocado is a subtropical tree and when it loses leaves, the energy of the tree is in the foliage. It's not like a maple tree where, or an apple where energy is stored in the trunk. Uh, those are temperate plants. The avocado doesn't do that. And when it starts defoliating, it has a real hard time coming back from that because all the energy was in the leaf. It's not really stored in the trunk. Uh, there was enough leaves left that they seem to be recovering. Uh, so I thought I'd give a recap on the avocado lace bug. I could use a little feedback from other folks over there who maybe did or did not treat their trees last year. Let me know, how are you doing? Because I know there are some trees around here that have not been hit at all. There are people in the islands that have completely clean avocados. There are other people that are being decimated. Um, I know there's a lot of people that have been hesitant to want to do anything because they don't know what to do. Um, and so on. So I'd be curious of all the stories you got about this bug. Um, for the most part, I seem to have nailed it pretty good. But there's avocados across the fence on the neighbor's property. And as usual, they ain't doing nothing with them. So the bugs are over there uh, ready to come right back into my property again. 
Talk to your neighbors, folks, about them avocados. That's one of the most important fruits we have around here. Hang loose. Aloha.